update to an individual who's already in our database. So if you go to Submit Data page, and it talks about different types of data. The important thing for submitting an update is that an update is not adding a student under a particular mathematician. That's a new data addition. You're adding a new individual to our database, and they will automatically be added to their advisor's page. So follow the other video tutorial on submitting new data if you're trying to add an individual who's not already in the database. That said, one thing that folks often uh, have issues with is they're looking at a particular individual's page. So if I go and I look up um, William Trotter, and suppose I'm looking at this list and I notice that someone's name is missing and I'm going, oh, they don't know about David Howard. Say that I, I searched and, and David Howard didn't come up, um, wasn't listed on uh, William Trotter's list of students. Before you go ahead and submit new data um, about that, what might lead to submitting an update would be to go search for that individual because perhaps we have them but we don't have their advisor listed or something of that nature. So it's really helpful to submit before you're submitting information to decide whether you're going for an update or new data. But let's suppose that there's an issue here in that the year should be 2012 and there should be a second advisor. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the update form, which the great benefit to the way this system is set up is you find the individual, you say, oh, this is almost right, but there's a mistake. Click this update. I'm going to put in your name. Um, you're going to put in an email address we only use this email address to send you a confirmation email. And then if we have questions about your submission, either one we're processing it or down the road if someone raises a question. We will never share this email address with anyone outside the MGP team, nor will we add you to an email list of any sort. This is purely in the confidential part of our database and only used if we have questions about something that you've submitted. So anything down here can be edited. As you can see, it is pre-populated. So let's say this really should have been 2012 and maybe the mass subject class should have been 06. If we wanna add another advisor, we just click add advisor and then we have a spot here. Uh, if this advisor is not in the MGP database already, just leave this advisor ID blank and we'll go in and create a page for the advisor. Or before you submit the update, you could use the new data form and follow the tutorial there to submit information about this person. And then you could just use the comments box to put in here that you just submitted information about uh, that individual so you didn't have their ID. Um, if you want to find the ID to be helpful for us, you can uh, bring up the search and find the ID number for that person as the advisor, copy it, paste it in here as the advisor. If this person shouldn't have been an advisor. Just click remove advisor. They'll go away. You can make this then a one. Another thing that sometimes happens is individuals have more than one PhD from different institutions. You could click the add degree button here and add another degree for them. Uh, if they have a single degree offered by awarded by multiple institutions, just click add school and put the second school name in here. something like that. References, 
a link to the ETD um, or anything you think might be useful there. Not currently publicly exposed, but maybe in the future. Comments are just any notes for us. Uh, this would be where you put in that you just submitted the advisor's information so they don't have an ID, something like that. Click Submit. You'll get a confirmation screen here to review. And then you'll click that Submit button. Um, if you catch an error here, go ahead, click Edit. You'll go back. You can make changes. You'll come back to this confirmation screen. You click the Submit button. You'll get a confirmation screen here that your submission has been received. You'll also get a copy of this by email. If you don't click the Submit button, we haven't actually received this. Your confirmation is that you get the email telling you that we have received your data. Uh, I'm not going to click the submit button right now, but please make sure that you always click the submit button.